Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can really easily make this cozy chunky knit throw pillow. It's actually reversible. It has a cable knit on one side and a regular stocking knit stitch on the other side. If you are a little bit intimidated or you're just beginning to knit, you can totally make this all in this pattern and leave this out. However, I'm gonna teach you in this video how you can make this cable knit. I encourage you to check that out and who knows, maybe you'll learn something new. If you're new on my channel, my name is Anya and I love sharing our urban home setting journey with lots of DIYs and handmade projects like this little cozy chunky knit throw pillow. I have chosen a heavy wool yarn that is a wool blend. I'll leave the link for all the materials I'm using in this video in the box below this video so you can find out where to find them. And I actually like this a little bit better than the super chunky knit that you use your fingers to knit because I think this is a little bit more timeless, but that's just my opinion. It is a very beginner friendly project. If you have never done any knitting before, I do have a video in which I'm teaching you very basic knit and crochet stitches. So I encourage you to check that out. It's very beginner friendly, really easy. So with just a little bit of practice, you'll be well on your way of knitting this pillow. And again, you can totally make this in the stocking knit stitch on both sides and then it goes even faster. Or if you'd like to make it reversible, like I did, you add the cables to it. I'm going to be teaching you how to do the cables so that you can be really successful. Also, if you're new on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and let me know that you liked the video by giving me a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment below this video. I always love to hear from you, all your questions and anything else that you have to share. Or if you have any requests for me to do videos about certain projects that you'd like me to make. So let's go ahead and knit this together. Here's what you need for your knitted pillow cover. First of all, you need some yarn. I am using this Big Twist Natural Blend. It's about 80% acrylic and 20% wool. So I think it's gonna hold up really well on our couch with just it not being 100% acrylic. And then you need some knitting needles. I checked the label here and it told me a US 13, which is exactly what I have right here. That's a 13. And if you just want to do the stocking knit stitch, then this is really all you need. Sometimes it can be helpful to have one of these little knitting gauges or checks because what you will need to do is you will need to make a swatch depending on your yarn and your needles and the way you, you knit, whether you have a very tight knit or very loose knit, you need to cast on about 20 stitches and then knit about 20 rows. And then with this tool, you can figure out how many um, stitches you have in about two inches and then you measure your pillow and extrapolate from there how wide your knitting needs to be and the height can always be adjusted. You don't need this. Sometimes that can be a very nifty tool. That's all you need if you're just doing the pillow in the stocking knit stitch. However, if you want to add the cable, I recommend that you either use another knitting needle just like so if you don't want to spend any more money on this or if you like knitting cables and you'd like to do this more often there is also these specific needles for cable knitting and i'll show you how you can use these cables are really not all that difficult here this is my pillow and i want to keep my pillow the knitted pillow cover pretty much the same size as the other pillows for the couch. I have already gone ahead and knitted the front side of this pillow cover. And what I can do now is, and if you're more wondering what this is, this is actually where I had one skein and then started the next one. So I'm gonna finish this when I'm done with it. So it's not a knitting flaw. It's actually just where I added another skein. Anyway, so if you want to just do the stocking knit stitch, then this is the front side. I'm going to show you one little thing that I'm going to do before I do the back side, and then I'll show you how we finish it. If you want to add the cables, I'm going to show you 
my method to figure out how to do that. I know that I have 50 four stitches and we can also draw it out sometimes that can be helpful if you're more of a visual learner and just know that I am not good at math but if I can figure it out you can figure it out so I know that this is 54 stitches wide and I've played with it a little bit and I know that my cables I want two cables and I'm just gonna do this little thing here so that's my cables. I want two cables and I want them kind of evenly, symmetrically placed. So again, I know that my cables will be six stitches wide. So I have six for one and six for another. So I know that I have 12 stitches that will go into the cables. So 54 minus 12 is 42. I have 42 stitches altogether that I need to divvy up. And if I just divide that by three, it so happens to be 14. So what ends up happening is that I will do 14 stitches, then six for the cables. And then from here to here, that's also 14, six for the cables and 14 right here. If you have a number that is not easy to divide by three, you can play with it. I would have just a little bit more on the sides here than in the middle because you will have the seams here. So it might look a little bit better to have the cables just a little bit more to the center than completely symmetrical. However, that is what I'm gonna do. Since this is the front side, what I will do you can just continue knitting and make this twice as long and then finish it however what I'm going to do is I will add a row of purl because that kind of makes it easier to fold if you will and it also makes the cable stand out a little bit so now the next row will be a knit row because the front side will be in purl and the cables will be in knit stitch so they actually stand out. So my next row is going to be knit stitch and I will count now 1, 13, 14. So now I'm purling six stitches. 1, 2, 3, four, five, six. And again, I am knitting 14 stitches because this is my middle stitches. One, 12, 13, 14. And now I need six purl stitches. And I should have 14 stitches left, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. And I will go ahead and knit those and finish my row. As you can see, I have already done quite a few cables. And again, the cables stand out because you purl here and you purl here. And these are your knits. And that is how the cables stand up. So let me actually show you how to knit the cables. And one thing I want to mention too is, as you can see, this one is twisting to the left and this one is twisting to the right. And you can have them both twist to the same direction, but I thought it would look prettier if I had them twist sort of in a mirror-like fashion. And I'm going to show you how you can create the left twisting and the right twisting. So I'm going to knit, um, actually, I'm going to purl these first and then when we get to here I'm going to show you how to knit the cables. Now I have here my six cable knit stitches and to twist to the left I'm taking this cable needle or you can just take any knitting needle that you have and I will take the first three of my six off and lay them in front. 
Now I will knit the next three, leaving those in front. And now I will knit those that I left in front and that creates the twisting. You can see how these pull over the one. So you basically knit the first three in reverse order and the last three first before those three. So I'm gonna knit those. And don't worry that there might be a little bit of pulling in this row. That's normal with cable knitting. I can set this one aside. It might feel really tight. And I will purl the 14 stitches between my two cables and then I'll show you how to create the right twist. Okay, again I have my six stitches here. I'm taking my extra needle or my cable needle and I'm taking, I'm just gonna give this a little bit more slack here. I'm taking the first three off. And the only difference here is that now I will lay these behind, knit my second three, take this needle here and I gotta see which way it twists. And pulling them from behind, you can see how that is creating the right twist. I am knitting those three. And that is my right twist. And I'll finish the row by purling my last 14 stitches. And here you have it. Here is my, let me pull this a little bit better here. So here is my left twist and here's my right twist. I'm always uh, knitting six rows in between and that creates this nice cable twist. If you're new to cables and what I just showed you looked a little bit confusing, what I recommend is playing this part of the video over and over until you have it. And it's really, once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. All you have to focus on is if you are doing a right and a left twist, which one is which. So the left twist, you lay the first three ones in front and the right twist, you lay the first three ones in back. And then you need to count your rows in between to make sure that you get an even cable twist. And now I'm gonna knit my remaining rows to create my pillow. And then I'll show you how I finish off the sides. I'm going to show you how to finish the edge here because I have about double the size of my pillow here and I can um, cast off my stitches and that's really simple. I'm going to push these a little bit further onto my needle here. And remember you just um, knitting them as they are. You knit the knits and you purl the purls. So the first one I always simply take off. And I like to create a very loose knit when I'm casting off. So here's a purl. And then I simply pull the previous one over this one keeping it loose, purl the next one, and pull it over the first one. And sometimes <laughs> they want to slide off. And that's all I'm gonna do. When I get to my knit stitches, I will actually knit them. It looks just a little bit neater. And remember, keeping it loose, that's kind of like why they slip off my needle here. Then I'll continue down 
my row until I have cast off my 54 stitches. And now all you do is um, sew the seams here just from left to right. Very simple stitch. I always like to use the yarn that I was knitting with. And you do that all the way around the edges. And then we can put the pillow insert into this cozy, chunky knit pillow. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're looking for more DIY and handmade projects, I have a whole playlist here with more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.